If you're not sure whether you should take your drone with you when you come to Austria, give me just a few minutes and I'll make it quick and easy for you. In this video, you're going to get as condensed as possible all the information you need in order to fly legally in Austria. I will show you helpful maps and apps, as well as how to register as drone operator. I recommend to watch the video till the end, where I give a summary to make everything clear. All links mentioned in this video are provided in the video description below. Ok, so let's start with the basic requirements. You need to be at least 16 years old or be under the supervision of someone who is 16 years or older and meets all the competence requirements for the specific drone operation. You need to have drone liability insurance that is valid in Austria and covers at least 750,000 special drawing rights. Check your insurance policy for that. You need to be registered as drone operator. Active registrations within the European Union are also valid in Austria. If you are from outside the European Union, you need to register at www.dronespace.at. Registration costs 32 euros and 40 cents and is valid for three years in all countries of the European Union, Norway and Liechtenstein. On the Dronespace website we go straight to the registration. Here we have to scroll down, click the button. Here check the first option, continue and now we have to fill out the form. Ok, here you have to upload a scan of your passport. I'm not gonna do that right now. And here you have to choose a password. At least 8 characters, one uppercase, one lowercase letter, one number and one special character. And then we scroll down and tick all those boxes here with which we basically agree to sell our soul to the devil and that we're never gonna watch any cat videos again. And then you click here on continue. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna submit false data to the aviation authority. After you've submitted this form, you're going to receive an email shortly thereafter. The email contains your operator ID, which you have to put onto your drone. There are no special requirements apart from, obviously, being readable and visible. For those of you that want to fly a drone that's lighter than 250 grams or 0.55 pounds, you can skip this part and continue with the next chapter, basic flight rules. If your drone is heavier than that, you need to complete online training and pass the online exam of the aviation authority of your home country if you're a resident of the European Union. And if you're from outside the European Union, you can complete the online training and exam at any aviation authority within the European Union. I would make my choice dependent on my language preference. If you want to take the exam in English, I'd recommend the service offered by the Irish Aviation Authority at iaa.mysrs.ie. It's free and you can accomplish that in less than an hour. Good news! The hardest part is done! Let's get to the rules that apply to all drone operations in the open category in Austria. Maximum flight altitude 120 meters or 400 feet above ground. Visual line of sight. No flights over assemblies of people. And when flying during twilight or night, sufficient lighting to keep visual line of sight. If your drone is heavier than 500 grams or 1.1 pounds, following rules apply in addition to the basic flight rules. No people within the drone operation area. Horizontal distance has to be bigger than flight altitude, but at least 30 meters or 100 feet. No flights within 150 meters or 500 feet of urban, commercial, industrial and recreational areas. Ok, before we get into that I'd like to ask you, no matter what the rules are, to fly responsibly and not recklessly and honor the privacy of other people. Drone rules and regulations have come into force within the last few years because there are more and more drone pilots and I think it's our responsibility as a community to behave and fly in a way that does not require stricter drone laws in the future. Thank you. Ok, so where are you allowed to fly? AustroControl provides a browser-based map at map.dronespace.at that includes all areas where drone flying is prohibited when it comes to airspace structure. You can use that to do your flight planning in advance. Let's have a quick look. Just make sure you have selected English here 
and then you can check all those areas. The small yellow blobs are heliports from hospitals or aerodromes. So if you click there, you can see lower limit is ground and upper limit 10,000 feet. So you're not allowed to fly there. You have to check each area, like the red one here is the control zone of airport Vienna and you're not allowed to fly there either. But there are some areas like this one, which starts at 2,500 feet above ground, so you can fly there actually. Okay, now the browser-based map might not be very handy when you're on the road, so luckily there are two smartphone apps available that make that part quite easy. The first app is the Drone Space app from Astro Control. It provides more or less the same information as the browser-based map, and even though it's in German, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. So when you first open up the Drone Space app, it looks like this. We want to continue without creating an account, that's the option on the bottom. Then we have to, again, sell our soul to the devil, continue, and then we're good to go. I would just enter a radius of 500 meters, because that's what I usually use. An altitude of 120 meters, because that's the maximum in Austria. And the category. If your drone is lighter than 500 grams, choose A1. If it's heavier, choose A3. I'm gonna stick with A1. And now we're good to go. You just set the pin where you want to fly. And if it's green, you're allowed to fly. And if it's red, you're not allowed to fly. But keep in mind, the Drone Space app is only taking into consideration the airspace restrictions. Not national parks, bird preservation areas and the like. So for that, you have to use the UMTC Droneninfo app, which I will show you shortly. The second app you need is Droneninfo from Austria's biggest motorist club, UMTC. Now this app doesn't give you such a clear presentation as the Drone Space app does, but very importantly, this app also includes information about national parks, bird preservation areas and other areas where you're not allowed to fly. Okay, so when you open up the Droneninfo app, you get a tutorial. We will skip that because it's in German. Once more, the devil is asking for our soul. And here you can choose which drone you have. Below 250 grams is the first option and above 250 grams is the second option. I choose the first one because I have a DJI Mini 3 Pro. Does it have a camera? Yes, it does. Is this device a toy? No, it's not. Okay, we get all this information about what we're allowed to do and what we're not allowed to do. We will skip that and just go to the map on the top right corner. And here we have our map. And on the top, we could switch the category if we want to. We will stick with A1, smaller than 250 grams. And as this app is in German, I will show you some things. So just that you know, when you put a pin somewhere, you get information. The first one is maximum flight altitude, 120 meters. And the second one is just information to fly over uninvolved people, but not over assemblies of people. If there's any additional item, you're not allowed to fly. So just to give you an example, if I put the pin into the national park, the first item tells you that it's prohibited to fly in the national park, and the second item tells you that it's a bird preservation area too. So with this app, just remember, if you set a pin and you just have two items, which is the altitude and the general info, you're allowed to fly. If you get more than two items, you're not allowed to fly. That's it, basically. So my recommendation is to use both apps at the location you want to fly and check before taking off. If both apps say you're good to go, then you're good to go. That's inherently logic. Sounds like many restrictions, but believe me, there are lots and lots of beautiful places in Austria where you can capture stunning footage. We have beautiful mountains, lakes, castles, waterfalls and much more. All the iconic spots, but also some hidden gems if you're willing to do your research. Requirements Minimum age 16 years Drone liability insurance valid in Austria Minimum 750,000 special drawing rights Drone operator ID valid within the European Union and if your drone is heavier than 250 grams or 0.55 pounds, complete online training and pass the online exam. Flight rules. Maximum flight altitude 120 meters or 400 feet above ground. Visual line of sight at all times. No flights over assemblies of people. And when flying during twilight or night, sufficient lighting to keep visual line of sight. If your drone is heavier than 500 grams or 1.1 pounds, 
no people within the drone operation area, so the horizontal distance has to be bigger than the flight altitude, but at least 30 meters or 100 feet. And no flights within 150 meters or 500 feet of urban, commercial, industrial and recreational areas. Check maps or apps for local restrictions before flying. And last but not least, use common sense, be considerate and respect people's privacy. In other words, just don't be a jerk. If you have any questions or suggestions or just want to let me know that this was way better than any cat video you've ever seen before, just drop me a comment below. Thank you. That's it for now. See you soon. If you're a resident of the European Union. Das war jetzt echt schwierig. Let's get to the drone rules that apply to apply 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 to all drones within the open category within Austria. Within within within. Responsibly and not recklessly. Recklessly. And honor the pri and honor the privacy of other people. Okay, so where are we of love? Also, das ist ein Satz, das ist ein this is just one stupid sentence. So luckily there are two smartphone apps available available that make that part quart quart part part quite easily. <sighs> Fly responsibly and recklessly and recklessly and responsibly. If you have any questions or suggestions, questions or suggestions, questions or suggestions. Das war nicht so schlecht.